Everybody on the internet wants to give Sony their money now. I'm gonna switch to giving Nintendo my money. And I, I'm probably gonna give Intel my money. Let's get in the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hot stick news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. This Friday, September 20th, 2024. It's getting there. I'm Brett host, your Reese. Oh. Deal, deal guy. It's him. That's that guy. And if you want to meet him or Catlin at our UFD Community Day, <laughs> uh, you can uh, you can come meet us next Thursday, September 26th at Resonine Esports in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yes. We're going to be doing it as part of our charity stream, which starts on Monday. I'm I'm excited. It's also it's freaking Monday. It's happening. Yes, this is your last hot news. Actually, no. There's going to be another hot news it before will be. it starts. It will but be. it's it. Just come join us RSVP to the community day if you can attend. Come have fun. We will have a bunch of giveaways. So I thought we were going to have one PC to give away, mm -hmm. but then I discovered we have that uh, combobulated ROG ally with the extra battery. Oh, the cool one. Yeah, the one that Kyler really configured. So we'll give that away as part of like UFD history. Mm. Uh, we'll also have Kyler's previous editing rig Ooh. for giveaway. It's it's his Tower 100 rig and it has a little cat sticker on it. And then- I know it's Kyler's. Yeah. And then we also got a delivery from LTTstore.com. We got backpacks, scribe drivers, bolt action screwdrivers, whole bunch regular of stuff. screwdrivers, stubbies. We're going to be giving away a whole bunch of stuff. September 26th, in case you can make it, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Resonating Sports. We'd love to have you there. And a mm. lot of people love to have what Sony unveiled, which is the 30th anniversary collection for the PlayStation 5. I saw this and my mouth dropped. I, I have never seen such an about face from opinions on the internet before. Really? It <laughs> okay, my opinion matters. None of the <laughs> others do, because this is just gorgeous. No, so this is what the meme that sums up what I've seen on the internet. People were pissed that the PS5 Pro exists, but now that it's the 30th anniversary edition, everybody wants it. I've seen people just recanting being like, oh, it's coming in the original colorway. I'm going to buy that. Um, fun fact, D-Brand already sold this colorway mm -hmm. uh, for their dark plates, in case you wanted that. Um, another fun fact, uh, I really love the color logo. That's it's such so a, good. Having it's that so color good. in. They have it for their DualSense controller. They have it for the DualSense Edge controller. They have it for the PS5 digital, but they also include mm -hmm. the disc adapter. You can just get that. PS5 Pro and PlayStation Portal. Tell me that doesn't scream amazing. I was not expecting the portal at all. Well, you know else? what else you probably weren't expecting? The cable, the USB-C cable the that classic. mimics the actual controller for the original PlayStation. Such a nice touch. So this is gonna be unlimited sale. They're only gonna have roughly 12,000 bundles of these to sell and or give away. They will go for pre-order on September 26th for some of them. And that there's multiple bundles that you can get, but they don't include the disc drive. It's only mm -hmm. the digital version of the PS5 and the PS5 Pro doesn't have a, yeah. a disc edition, but even the box art looks it's original. It's a throwback. Catlin, have you seen this? Ta-da. It is beautiful. It is immaculate. So nice. I could have this, but in gray. It's better that way. It is. We all know it is. So the bundles are going to be, they have the PS5 Pro, which is going to come with a DualSense controller, I believe a DualSense Edge controller mm -hmm. as well, a console cover for a disk drive, the vertical stand, the DualSense charging station, all comes with a whole lot. They haven't unveiled pricing, okay. but considering the PS5 Pro starts at 700 bucks, you add all of that, it's probably going to be a $1,200, $1,300 bundle altogether. I'm going to have to see what South Africa does with these. You get nothing. Yeah, you probably, lose. Good probably. day, sir. The box design, though. Oh, the box design is, the box design is so good. Oh, that they nailed it, it. so it. appropriately. Praying on that nostalgia. Yeah, I mean, I, I've just seen so many people desire it, even though they did not like the PS5 Pro's $700 pricing. Oh, you're telling me it comes in a different color? Sign me up Sold. today. But speaking of new updates that are also happening, Elgato having mm -hmm. a huge revamp, not just to some hardware, but also their software. They announced a Wavelink update, which yes. is going to allow you to have variable configuration to audio sources in Windows in a way that hasn't really been done before. To a lot of quality software. of life improvements there. Yes, so Wavelink 2.0 having some major updates to that, including better Stream Deck integration as well. They're also introducing the WaveMic Arm Pro based on the low nice. profile. We, we use those heavily in the office. I'm they can a low 
port. Profile user. 3.3 kilograms. The cable goes under instead of on top. I saw that. The moment I saw that, I was like, I want I that. I constantly <laughs> pop it out. I'm glad All that the time. Yes. All the time. Quality of life improvements. They're also announcing the Wave Desk stand, in case you want a little mini one for some podcasting. I was about to say, you're going to see that on every dude's podcast in the next couple of months. Every dude's podcast. Every dude's podcast. That's the name of our podcast that we're going to be releasing sometime soon. You heard it here first. And the Switch 2 may be releasing sometime soon. We actually are finding some prototype hardware mm -hmm. making its rounds on the internet. I've tried to verify. Allegedly. Yeah. I tried to make sure that I'm not just taking any old rumor and throwing it on here, but this one actually seems the most credible yeah. in terms of hardware prototype designs that's floating out on the internet for the Nintendo Switch 2, which will allegedly include an 8-inch display. It's going to have dual Joy-Cons, as you would expect. It's going to be very similar to the original Nintendo Switch in a lot of different ways, but here's a main board, even uh, pictured in this prototype. They also are showing off that it should potentially have higher specs, and the Joy-Cons, Reese, allegedly have an extra button on I the right that. one. I saw what does that. it do? I don't know. I want to know. I want to press it. Well, you know what else? It's also going to have an extra USB-C port on top I saw that. for charging. Better. I saw that. Good. Allegedly, good or allegedly. better. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to buy this for myself, but I'll probably buy one for my kids. But also, as the saying of UFD Tech goes, frick Nintendo. Frick em. Frick em. And, uh... Allegedly, I have some deals for you. Frick those deals up, Reese. You know what I'm saying? Let me dap you up, bro. Oh, no, you got it up. There we go. That's better. Hey, welcome back to Yifty Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet, where we do this. Frick the deals up, Frick them. And hey, speaking of low-profile arms, we have the InnoGear low-profile microphone arm for only $32.99, making it $13 off. And you don't have to pay the Elgato tax. Oh, yeah. Those are on sale, though, for $80 at the moment, currently. <laughs> Over double. <laughs> but then next up, we have this Cooler Master MW Gold 850 V3 80 plus gold modular power supply, which is currently going for $84.99, making it $20 off. And then lastly, we have the Linsol SimGuard EM6L, which are a lovely fan favorite in your monitor set that you can get, you can mod, and hey, pick them up for $87.99 with the coupon applied, making them $22 off. But hey, them's the deals. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your pick with you. Go for it. So I'm just tabulating all the deal money you saved me. You saved me uh, 42 plus, you saved me 55 bucks. Yeah. That is not enough to buy that PS5 Pro bundle. It's not. I need you to save me more money, Reese. That was as much as our Arby's cost, basically. <laughs> oh, you got Arby's without me? I did. Oh man, you got the meats. I had them. Give me your meats. <laughs> I don't know how to segue this because <laughs> it gets really weird. Um, but uh, somebody probably delivered your Arby's, right? Mm -hmm. Well, kind of similar to that ride sharing apps, Uber, you used Uber Eats. Uber now has new rider verification programs that are rolling out to the United States. I segued the heck out of that thing. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Rider ID program now expanding where you can get verified to make it so that the drivers can actually know who they're picking up because that's happened for drivers to be verified, but not mm -hmm. riders. So it's to make that a little bit safer for the drivers as well as having various things like being able to record on their phone the trip that's happening instead of having to purchase a dash cam. Yeah. So rolling that out, these have been beta tests that Uber's been trying out and now they're rolling out out nationwide here in the United States. Additionally, they're making it so drivers can unmatch without any financial penalty and they can block riders as well and a new pin verification system to make sure that the person getting in the car is the person who's supposed to be in the car, which I, you know, I, I've i ordered Ubers for other people before. Yeah. So, you know, I've taken the hit on my rating for that. But at the same time, I understand uh, drivers also need to feel safe. Yeah. Too many horror stories. To you, horror stories? Too many. Oh, that makes way more sense. And people have horror stories of using Google's apps because they kill them off. There's a huge Google graveyard. But this is the one time I get to talk about hot news every month where Google expands a feature, which is their pass keys can now sync across multiple platforms. I'm proud of you, Google. This used to be that Google Password Manager on Android was the only thing that could save pass keys. Now it's everywhere. You got Mac OS, Linux, Windows, Linux, all, all of those. You can put them on the other devices. So now that's there. And what's also here is HTC's competitor to I the MetaQuest 3. Did you see the price? I did. It is roughly double what you can expect from a MetaQuest 3. The Vive Focus Vision is kind of a XR headset, mm -hmm. more focused on the gaming side of things, coming in at $1,000, which 
does not look cheap. Nope. Also, I don't know if it has a ton over the MetaQuest 3. It's pretty. In order to justify, it's gonna be coming out on October 17th. It will have USB-C that you can connect. It has pretty good resolution, 2448 by 2448 per eye, 120 degree field of view. Also using the Snapdragon X.2 chip. Yes, it uh, does 90 Hertz, it has 128 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM, but it has a micro SD card slot so that you can add in two terabytes. And if you use the display port tethering that comes with the mm -hmm. USB-C, which I think is the main advantage it has over the Quest 3. The Quest 3 doesn't support display port. Yeah. Is that right? I, I don't know about the Quest 3. Okay, well, it then would unlock it to 120 hertz. But uh, according to all the reports, it's like it's a two hour battery life. It's not exceptional. It's kind of late to the game, which is such a weird thing because I mean, back when we were in, when, when we first get into VR, the Vive was like the, the preeminent. They beat Oculus to the market. They had it. It was like the one you hooked up to your computer, and now Meta's taking it over and made it so that Vive is essentially obsolete, which yeah. the RTX 3080 obsolete in case you, it's dead. It's dead, it's dead to me, it should be dead to you because it just turned four years old. And as we all know, that's the time to put GPUs out to pasture. Yeah, you just gotta get rid of them. Throw them down the river. Take them out back. Do what well with them? <laughs> old yeller? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> this is just to remind you that uh, the ticking times of hand sanitizer, <laughs> the the thing, the sands. Things the happened. Sand. Things happened back You're in. You're getting older. This, this I hope your knees hurt. segment got real far away from me. 3080, 3090 are four years old. The 4080 and 4090 are now two years old as of their announcement. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no replacement for them, so just field. What have we got to look forward to now? Uh, the 285K from Intel. They oh. just We just got the leaked box, which normally I don't necessarily get too hyped about, but uh, there has been kind of a slump that Intel's been in with yeah, their boxing. Yeah. They came out real strong with the 9900K, the dodecahedron. so cool. The, and then ever since then, it's kind of been mid. But now, back to form, I really like the 285K's box. It has- That is pretty. Some, like ha sharp angles. It also has some beautiful design. And I want to believe that this means that Intel believes in their product a little bit Ooh. more. That's what I want to think. This obviously a stretch. I can read the comments now being like, bro's just talking about box design. <laughs> We've kind of already talked about the benchmarks. It looks like it's going to be better than the 14th mm -hmm. gen. It's going to compete with the 9000 series on AMD's side. We don't know the pricing. I just know it's got a pretty box. AMD's boxes, they've gotten less pretty. Yeah. AMD used to it's do little, really good with Red Ripper. A little bit of the same now. But yeah. yeah. They're just, they're coasting on their laurels. This makes me want to buy it at the store. I'm just saying. And just look at the box. Roast us down below. We deserve it. <laughs> but speaking of, let's go to uh, Wednesday's episode of Hot News Comments, which speak, we didn't do hot news yesterday because mm -hmm. we're trying to prepare for the it charity stream. It was busy. Stream. It was crazy. The day got away from me. Didn't didn't get around the hot news. I'm sorry, but I'm going to talk about what you said on Wednesday. Skeletor saying, wait, you're confusing me. I thought your name was Brett Host, but then you call yourself Kyler Michael? And Steven. And, oh, is that what the slash S yeah, means? Slash and S Steven. Means got and it. Steven. Jimmy Cav saying, Reese's glasses broke because he brought the deal so hard. Deal match. Master, don't play! <laughs> now Brother, I can't see you guys! You're gonna snap the other one! Good. You know, it was so weird watching that old uh, moving vlog and you didn't have glasses. Oh, was yeah, the last we saw time you wore contacts. We saw that like earlier today. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. 2020 is when I last wore them. Gross. I don't want to see your eyes. Then Northern Llama saying rom-coms in the future are gonna have to reboot She's All That trope like then she took off her chonky snap glasses and that's when you realize she was hot all along. Oh. <laughs> and then little Nikki Scarfo saying, Karen! Ah! Just one word. Yeah, multiple exclamation points. They're here. And in case you want to meet them, again, join us for the UFD Community Day RSVP down below. Then. Over on YouTube, we have Marty Stock saying, someone 3D print Reese's sidearm for his glasses, <laughs> damn it. Sorry, someone ate all my Frosted Flakes I'm venting. Have a great day, guys. Sorry about your Frosted Flakes. Fro I'm <laughs> Move on. You got new glasses coming. When do they get here? I have no idea. How are you gonna survive the charity stream with this? She will. Okay, Johnny Lee Rollins saying, Reese judging the augmented glasses while his, <laughs> own, his one arm is wild. I'll but allow it, Johnny. Thine is saying, the 4090 came out almost two years ago. Insert Matt Damon aging meme gif. That's what I was going with yeah. with the earlier segment. Then the Blueberry saying, rest in peace, RTX 4090. Shoulder Missile saying, why do Reese's glasses only have one arm? There's a lot of upvotes on that. Why, why do people not, we addressed this. We talked about it. I ate it. 
he he ate he ate it. That's that's what happened. And then Blade Crew saying, I love the conversation between Brett and Reese, and sometimes when they're fighting each other, it makes the show even better. Not fighting for the sake of fighting, but for showing or saying your own POV. Pov. Frick you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Twex, T-Rex is probably how you're supposed to read it. Say you have the perfect opportunity to have a celebrity cameo. Have Catelyn, spelt your name wrong, give Reese her spoon tomorrow. Then you'll have Reese with her spoon. Ban him. I like that Ban one. Him. Oh no, I'm protecting T-Rex. I'm gonna get you T-Rex. I, I like to make Reese Witherspoon jokes about you. I, that's a, that's the best roundabout way of getting to it. I, I enjoy that. And we're gonna enjoy the charity stream. Be sure to be ready on Monday, September 23rd. Uh, mark your calendars for the 26th for the community day in person. It's gonna be six days, 21 hours of streaming, mm -hmm. and lots of giveaways, lots of fun, lots of money raised, lots of hope. See you there. Will you? Your glasses might break. Yeah, then I won't see them. <laughs> <laughs>